everybody, it's Jeremy from Star Wars Explored. You know, I'm serious about this. So serious that I've been recording videos for multiple days in a row and I actually haven't changed my shirt, but that's a different problem for a different day. But I do have some new and exciting news for this new upcoming Star Wars movie by Taika Waititi. All right, apparently he wants Natalie Portman to be in it, which I actually learned and I think he learned too the hard way. She was already in Star Wars, all right? Again, with these recycled actors, we gotta stop. I just saw Thor, she was in that too. It's like, so now we're gonna recycle actors, actresses, and the directors all throughout Disney, Star Wars, and everything else. Like, there's more than two or three people in the whole world that can be in a Star Wars movie, people. I mean, come on now. Might as well put me in one. I can manage. If that dude that played little Anakin in the first one can do it, I can do it. Just I'll shave and I'm good to go. Put me in there as broom boy. Like I can do it. But it is understandable for Taika to forget that, you know, she was in the movies. I mean, there are nine and it's not like they go in order. You can't keep track of all the Star Wars movies and all the actors, even though they all recycle them anyway. I mean, there was nine movies, but I mean, they were backwards, which that's a whole nother part of the video, but you know, he must be a Trekkie too. All right, I'm gonna throw it in there. I don't care what the sweet console says. I'm gonna give him some Star Trek for a minute. All right, there's 13 movies beginning to end. No confusion, no going backwards or then forwards, backwards again, through the middle and out the other side like you're tying a shoelace. No, linear, beginning, end, beginning, end. It didn't read this sign from Wars Star Explored. No, that's not even right. You didn't read this sign from Explored Wars Star Jeremy I'm I hi. You know, no, no one did that. Hello, you know, I, hi, I'm Jeremy, Star Wars Explored. You know, like, come on now. You know, if I can do it, so can George Lucas. All right, put it in order. Stop confusing everybody. You know, I think, actually, I think there's an explanation within Star Wars. And I actually think Taika Watiti is going to explain it in his new upcoming movie. So there's this character, I'm pretty sure... I'm actually watching them in order. So I'm pretty sure he, I've seen them because I only made it through the first two. The second one, oh my Lord, boring, but the different, whatever, who cares? Star Trek was never that boring, fine. But there is this dude in these two movies who apparently Taika is going to bring back for his movie, which I don't really know when it takes place yet, who is pretty known within Star Wars, who is supposed to be able to explain why Star Wars was told starting in the middle to the end and then back from the end to the beginning, from the beginning back to the middle to meet to the middle at the end that we already saw from the end to the middle because the middle was actually the beginning. So I'm going to share my screen and share this character with you that Tycho is going to reintroduce back from the dead. Let me just give me a minute. This guy, Yoda. I was watching the movies, he talks backwards. George Lucas recorded his movies backwards. He's telling his stories backwards. This guy right here, Yoda, has to be the key to why Star Wars is so messy. And I think Taika, being the good director that he is, is going to do a pretty good job of explaining why that we have to sit here through Star Wars and not know what they're talking about the first time around without waiting 40 years to go back to the beginning to meet what we've already seen. Luckily, when I was born, the, I don't even know, the original trilogy had already been done and they were already one movie deep into the prequel trilogy so it wasn't too confusing, but imagine you're like 15, 16, and you go see Star Wars for the first time in 1977, and then you're like, oh, this is good. And then you see the next two, and it's 1990, and you're like 25, 30. I'm not doing the math. don't really care. 
And then you got to wait 20, 30 years before you know what the heck the Clone Wars are when George knew from the beginning. Why didn't he just start with the Clone Wars and then go to Anakin and Darth Vader? We didn't need to go end to beginning, the middle, to the beginning, to the end again. All right. The beginning doesn't have to be the middle. And the middle doesn't have to be the beginning. But the beginning can be the middle and the middle is at the end. But the end doesn't have to be the beginning when the beginning is the middle. But the middle is at the beginning when the beginning is the end. I don't understand why George Lucas can't get that through his head. Star Trek, beginning, end, beginning, end. I don't understand. Beginning in the middle, in the middle, in the beginning. You know, no. Nobody does that. Beginning, middle, end. I can't, I'm, I just, I can't with him. I can't with George. You know, it's like, dude, you're a grown man. Beginning, middle, end. Hi, I'm Jeremy, Star Wars Explored. Not Explored War Star Jeremy, I'm high. Like, I am high, but not because it's backwards, all right? But that's a whole, I probably shouldn't have said that. Goodbye. I'm sick of this.